Rugby is quite a small town, but here is a marketplace. A busy and small marketplace with a pub and a pub. Good place to meet up or buy cards. And there is a market there where you can buy fruits and vegetables and here the market is. Here is a place that if you're a man you shouldn't take the women. Here is next in the clock tower and also many other clothes shops. And but still it has some good bookshops, but it mentions nothing about rugby. And it has some necessities just in case, like B and M bargains and opticians. Ah, now here is a picture of Dennis Gaber, inventor of the hologram. He came to rugby fleeing from the Nazis and because he was nervous of them. And he was Hungarian. Wouldn't you know? He came to rugby and then invented the hologram. So rugby is technically the birthplace of the hologram. Joseph Norman Lockyer, who was born in Sheep Street in Rugby, and he died in the 1930s, but he, he saw helium in the sun. Down in the southwest, there is a Norman Lockyer telescope, well, obso observatory, really. Here is Pierre de Coubertin, who went to rugby school and thought, if sports can bring boys together, can it bring countries together? And without rugby, we wouldn't have the Olympic Games. And Pierre de Coubertin was a smart person with a moustache, and he looks quite pretty and warm, doesn't he? So rugby is technically a place where the Olympics was starting to be thought of. So in the end, rugby has helped the Olympics. So we can say to Coventry, mm, you didn't do anything with the Olympics. Thank you for watching my video about rugby. Have a nice